Hi guys, this is Hang Mango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite Annabelle Cross here. She lent me her canvas to do this beautiful feline makeup look for you. I hope you enjoy the video. I really love it. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumb up, and don't forget to follow both Annabelle and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start heavy makeup, I always use skincare first. The first product I use is the Laneige Lip Balm. This is a great lip balm to prep on the makeup or every day you can wear it for day and night. The second product I'm using is the Ole Harrison Vitamin C Eye Cream. I'm going to use the serum and the eye cream both from this brand. It's helped to brighten the eye area and very hydrating. The next product is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It is so hydrating and it's really brightening. Great for pigmentation or any sun damage. Isabel has amazing skin. She doesn't need anything at all, but it's helped to maintain her youthfulness. The last product I'm using for skincare prep is also from Ole Harrison Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This is a great new moisturizer they have. Great under makeup, you can wear day and night. All these products are not sponsored. I'm just using them. I tend to use similar brand for eye cream, serum, moisturizer. Always give your face a lot of love, give a little massage. If you cannot do facial massage on your face by yourself, maybe you can use those divide tool I use on many videos, you know, to help to depop. For foundation and concealer, I'm going to use the concealer palette from Addiction Tokyo. It's a makeup brand from Japan. It's a beautiful brand. You should check it out. And Danessa Matrix Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. It's more, to me, it's more like balmy foundation set become a powder setting. So you should try it out because it's all in one product. The concealer palette is, they come in different shades. They have concealer, they have correcting here as well. I'm using a little bit of the peach tone here. Just cancel some of the color out because Annabelle has amazing skin like she has really gorgeous skin it's just natural shadow around there like I'm gonna use color corrector for that look up for me and you see just a little corrector and light up everything because a lot of time people think that they have to cover so much concealer just because they think that they need them but they don't a little color corrector is helped to brighten certain area and correct the area without adding so much concealer on. 
you see that I just use a little bit of the color corrector and that just go all the area that you feel a little dark and it just brighten up everything. Now I'm going with the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. So to me, this is like you see that it's this cream foundation and it's set to powder. It's for those who just want all in one. So priming and then foundation and powder all in one because they're gonna set for you. And especially those who have really oily skin, this is a great product for you. And you can use this to contour, highlight as well. Keep in mind that this is also not a sponsor as well. It's just a new product that Danessa sent to me and I love them. I think it's really nice for someone who very low maintenance. The only thing about this is they only have 10 shades, but they're very mimic to your different skin tones. So even they have only 10 shades, it can wear by a lot of different people. And they also have one universe shade that you can use that is a setting powder as well. It gives you really nice coverage. I think these are good for people who have really oily skin. It's more, it gives you that balmy but more matte finish. I'm still gonna use a little concealer on the under eye of Annabelle. And I will set the under eye, but I'm gonna leave the skin, the rest of them natural because it give me that almost set finish on the face already. I'm not gonna set the face with powder. I'm only gonna do the under eye area. Because I love how the finishing everywhere else. And I just put a little bit on the T-zone as well. But the rest of the face, I think the finishing of the Yummy Balm is so nice. The powder I just used is from Anastasia. It's a translucent powder. I'm going to use some Huda Tantor to really scoop out Annabelle's face. She has really beautiful bone structure and everything, but because the skin quite pale naturally, so it doesn't show much. So I think a little cream to powder bronzer like this would be really nice. And because I'm not set the face, I'm using this just because I can use on foundation face or powder face without disturbing the makeup too much. Because sometimes if the bronzer is too creamy, it's actually moved the foundation away too much. So this is actually easy to blend. And I just use the cheekbone, jawline, around the hairline, the usual area that I do almost every video. Also, I'm trying to do a little bit right the temple here because I want the eye to look really lifted from the line I'm going to do. I think just a little tantour, it does bring out all the best bone structure and if I have I also do a little bit both sides of the nose I'm going to use this face palette from Fenty Beauty this one I'm going to use for as eyeshadow for contour a little more even the highlight here is just over the face uh, palette. I think this is beautiful. I'm using mainly just lighter shade just because Annabelle's skin tone is quite pale. But for anyone who have deeper skin tone, you can use all these shades here. The first one I use is this one right here. Just to scope the nose a little bit. And basically I'm using this as an eyeshadow as well, just a little wash. 
because it's all about the liner so you not you need to do too much eyeshadow but I still want to set the eye with some shadow as well got a lighter color and then same brush maybe I do a little more scope than I need to you can use a small brush like this so you can see exactly where you want to place the product but because the brush is soft so it's quite easy to blend same color same brush I give the mouth a little bit of shadow all of these here I'm doing right now I'm just playing with them so you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing at all just bring out all her beautiful feature For eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from Refine. It's the eyebrow pencil and this is like a gel, laminate gel they have. And I'm about to have beautiful eyebrow. I'm just gonna make them a tiny bit longer and tiny bit fuller. Not too much, just a little bit. You see, just brush backward like this. I don't wanna draw any much down further. Just want to lift this this area as well so i'm going to draw mostly on the top part when it comes to brow it's really how you want to frame the face whatever you're going to do with the eyebrow make sure look at the eye shape the face shape you know how long how short that you think you should do the brow and I think it's hard to explain like how further you do or how longer the eyebrow you should do and it's really just personal preference as well I usually like the eyebrow more longer and lifted so I'd like to use more straighter eyebrow unless the look I'm doing more like 90 inspire or something then I do a bit more arch but generally I do the eyebrow pretty straighter and longer As you can see right now I treat the shape a little bit it's really how you're gonna treat the eyebrow that suit the face you can see the different already Annabelle this side is kind of go down the center I go a little high here and I straighten the eyebrow out a little bit and just keep the eyebrow a little shape. You can see something like that. So it's really, you can make a big difference. The shape of the eyebrow, you can see that like this side, the eye feels so much more lifted compared to the other side just because you lift the brow from here and you straighten the brow from here. I would love to do a video just all about eyebrow. Comment on below if you like the idea. But I would love to do a video about all different shape of brow and all different techniques that I'm doing over the year. But you can see even just a pencil alone, you can make a big difference on the eyebrow. And then I'm using a little gel to gel everything up and there you go one side compared to the other side for the eye area I'm going to use three products a gel liner a liquid liner and a mascara and keep in mind that because the look we do is really about that black liner so you have to choose the liner that long lasting you know I purposely chose a model a little hooded eye as well so it's a perfect way to test out the gel liner that actually hold the look for you and I know it's the number one concern so KVD sent me this liner they have it's a new liner they have 
and it's called Tattoo Pencil Liner Waterproof Long Wear Gel Liner. Ultra smooth, highly pigmented, and it's all matte gel liner. And it's perfect for the look I'm doing for. First, I put on all over the waterline. Remember I say in every video, when you use a long wear pencil, do one eye at a time. I always do two eyes just because I can build fast, but I'm gonna do one eye so it's easy for you guys to do because even though these pencils are 20 foot proof and extremely long wear, perfect for wedding and all the occasion or Asian eye for everyone eye that's a little more hooded, but you still have to do one eye at a time. And I purpose to do this look, it's all about the black liner, but I'm showing you, you have to take your time and do one eye at a time if you want to have that look. I do also the black all over the upper waterline. Sorry, Annabelle, are you okay? No, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do really slow for you. These are great for the waterline. The look, I'm gonna do a bit more smudgy. Close your eye. Remember, they set really fast. One day set, you can't blend or smudge or anything at all. So just do really one eye at a time. You smudge really quick. You see that I do just one eye and I smudge it out. Do one eye at a time. You can always use a blending brush or angle brush. Keep your eye closed for me. And then you smudge them as well like this. That's where if you not blend fast enough, or you can use this technique to draw with the angle brush or blending brush like I'm doing. The look I'm doing, you see, it's all about the black liner, smudge it out. So just really that's what you care about. And I do is very feline, very little. Like I said earlier, you can use angle brush. I use smudgy brush and I really want to smudge it out. How further or how narrow the smudging line is up to you. I just want to do really free line. I'm going to do a little bit right here. A little bit right there. Yeah, you really, really need to have like pencil like this if you want to do this look. You, if you use a cold pencil, it's going to smudge everywhere. You can have a Q-tip nearby to smooth it out if you need to. But this look is just all about the liner. I received this in the PR package. They also have 10 color all together and they have blue, green, all different color. I haven't tried it all the color yet. But this is a beautiful black color. See, that's a look. It's just really just one liner, and I do that. I just want to really smudge out this area. And you know, you don't need to use too many products to create a sexy eye look, and I think this is just really gorgeous. And I'm using this area here. I draw a little more. Much a little more. You can draw directly if you fast. I'd like to be really precise everything so because this is a long wear pencil so I, I try to do like slow like that so the shape is gorgeous. I'm gonna try to do the same on the other side.
I think she looked quite amazing with the black. What I'm gonna do, earlier I mentioned I'm gonna use a black liquid liner. I'm gonna use it as well. And I just do right on the lash line. This way, it gives you a lot of depth and also it will hone and lock in all the color you need for the look. I really, really love this look. I think it's look amazing. I don't want to go too high up because I don't want to lose that smudginess, softness, I mean, from the diffuse look that I use from the blending brush. What I would recommend you as well is someone who have hooded eye like this, you might touch up eyeshadow you used earlier, maybe even add a little color here and the crease area. So just a little more definition on the crease a little bit only and I just switch back and forth from the two color because I don't want it too much like scoped in everything just very subtle And then what I also do, I'm gonna use a little bit of that color along the lash line as well. Because sometimes it's too feline, it does make your eye a little smaller. So this color is not gonna make the eye look smoky, but it gives some depth around the lash line. I just curl Annabelle lashes off camera. And now I'm gonna use some mascara because the eye really dark, of course, you need to get a volumizing and black, black mascara. And this is a great vegan brand for you. I do one coat on the low lashes as well. Maybe a little more on the top. So that's really all about the eye. This look is just really about the eyeliner, feline. I'm going to use a NAR blush. So this is more a beautiful, like a pinky color, like this color. And because everything very muted, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of the color. Mainly on high cheekbone. on this side as well I love the skin of the foundation like I didn't even set them but I mean the skin is quite beautiful still you know like it's just really really nice for highlighter I'm going to use this highlight palette from Hourglass I'm using mainly the two shades here very soft to highlight the look I'm doing is, you know, it's not too much highlight and I think it's just very subtle. It's natural skin. I just keep a little radiant here and there. And I think from using the fan brush, everything very subtle.
For lips, I'm going to use a beige nude lip liner from Chanel and also a new lipstick from Chanel. This is a beautiful texture. I honestly cannot say the name, so we just can have to list it in here and in the description box. I try to say the name in French and my team laughing. So I don't want you guys to sit laugh at home as well. So there you go. Annabelle have gorgeous lip shape. I'm not gonna try to change anything. So for lips, I'm just gonna follow her natural lip shape. And this is such a beautiful lip liner and color. And because the eye quite intense, so I want to keep everything still soft. But then again, I don't want to do too nude. It's still her lips, but more enhanced. And for me, I find it's easy when I do lip liner. I ask the model, slightly smile, no teeth, and I can see the shape a lot easier. And that's when I fill in the lip liner. It's so much easier that way. Instead, just let the model relax the mouth. And then relax. And you just go touch it up. This is the new lipstick Chanel has. It's quite beautiful texture. It's shy and creamy, but it's quite pigmented as well. It's not just like shine, but no color, not pigmented, like a lot of uh, the shine lipstick. This gives you nice sheen, but it does have a lot of pigment. Very hydrating. This lip's color is so gorgeous. I think it's a perfect color for someone who want nude lipstick, but not too nude. This like, is it's such gorgeous and the texture is really beautiful. To set the makeup, I'm going to use a setting spray from Nimia Beauty. Close your eye. This is the final look, guys. And I hope you enjoy the look. Thank you Dawson very much for creating beautiful effortless hair and thank you Annabelle very much for coming to the channel, lend me your canvas. I hope everyone enjoy the video, share the video, give the video a thumb up. Thank you so much for subscribing the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe the channel and give us a lot of love always. Thank you.